that was a round number three case that was so old, I thought it should have been junk a long time ago. But every case is in the trunk of my car right now. I still use it today. <laughs> and I thought it was ancient. It turned into some antique store. But that's an example of his conservatism, I think. He continues to use things. He tries to find a way to be efficient in state government. When I listen to him talking to the press presenter that earlier this morning before this event, he's saying all the same things that I have been saying in my campaign this last year, and uh, I think that it's all the same things that the Republicans are trying to get across to the public. We couldn't have a better candidate for state treasurer than Dan Ruth. Dan, welcome to the public. I can tell you, I was in air, I, I'm a businessman. I got, um, I got the honor to be an elected official, but I'm also a businessman with a company called Service Master Corporation. Some of you may have heard of it. We, we also own companies like True Green and Terminex. And I've been with them now 25 years. And I was on an overseas business trip uh, for the company. I was in Tokyo, at the airport, and I was on the on the phone, and I had this briefcase that Rich is talking about sitting there. This nice Japanese man waited till I got off the phone. He looks at me and he goes, Oh, so sorry to interrupt you. Very, very antique. Where did you get it? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, it's just been around the world with the entire music. So, I remember that election in 94. And we were, was it, it was a van, as I recall. It was some, we were campaigning, we had some van. We were going someplace. The doors open, we jump out, we're campaigning, we're shaking hands. And I gotta tell you what, Rich, you remember that van? I'm talking, my van. Yeah. Was, okay, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, we were in that van and we were campaigning and we were shaking hands, we were meeting people, and, and the wind was kind of to our back that year. It was a good year. Now, we can always screw it up, but it was a good year. And so in 1995, January comes in. I had no idea who my seatmate would be. And I'll tell you what, though. The best guy to be between Bill Brady and Dan Rutherford had to be rich. Because when you're on the floor of the house, you know, you, you, you got downtime, you got to think about stuff, you kind of kick back in your chair and you lean over and you talk and you visit. And when you sent Rich Myers to be your representative of the people of Illinois, you sent some of the finest possible out there. So for all you do now, Rich, what you're going to be doing in the future, congratulations and thank you.